will check if my channel's fine. <clears throat> Yeah, cool. Okay, I'm live. Um, so what we will be uh, doing today is basically it's just like Monday streams is just an open stream with the uh, Just a second, and for some reason connection looks like it's off. No, everything's fine. So yeah, um, the Monday streams are just like an open stream for just like anything related to any technology that I use, which is like web, VR, AR, IoT, GraphQL, serverless, uh, like lots of stuff. So uh, today I will be uh, will be streaming. Um, um yeah so i'm just like po posting it uh, wait just a second i probably should do it <laughs> before uh starting a stream but like anyways it's just an open stream so um, yeah, so what we'll be doing, we will be actually, so uh, today later I will have at 5 p.m. PST, I will have this bootcamp, so for anyone wondering what the URL is, this is the URL, you're free to sign, we'll, uh, there will be four days of this bootcamp, uh, again, this stream is not the actual bootcamp, uh, it's just like a, a regular Monday stream, so, um, during this bootcamp, uh, later today at 5 p.m. PST, we'll be talking about all of this stuff, so um, better check this bootcamp and, and join it. So uh, today we will be actually using uh, Hasura engine for building a couple of um, GraphQL APIs examples for this bootcamp. So um, yeah, so um, that's what we'll be doing today. Um, just a second, put my tweet, Twitter, over there. Yeah, so, um, yeah, regarding the Hasura, instant real-time GraphQL on Postgres, and we're actually uh, gonna start everything from scratch now, and, um, um, yeah, create this example. So the idea is, for my uh, bootcamp examples, I want this kind of, um, this kind of um, um, database basically and uh, I want to have GraphQL on all of these so typically it will take me like lots of time to create this uh, on, on the server but with Hasura it will be much faster and we will see today how it's done um, I I need to do it anyway for the bootcamp so yeah, so what we want here is posts, comments, user, and profile. So let's let's just get started. We will start with Hasura um, by clicking on the Get Started on Heroku. Um, obviously, we can use um, any cloud of our choice, any database, uh, well, um, any Postgres database or Postgres extensions. Um, even if it's not a new one, if you have existing database, you also can do that. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is a, a fancy guide of how to start with, uh, with Heroku. We'll just start a quick deploy. And um, it, it's more for just like playing around with things. Um, obviously there are some production apps running on Heroku and uh, like quite a lot actually, but um, if you want to run it on AWS or Azure or Google Cloud Platform, you totally can. So my name will be um, posts and uh, comments, sample blog, let's call it sample blog. And um, yeah, obviously it's available. Uh, KL bootcamp sample blog. Okay, we'll create an app. And we'll 
we'll see if it's deployed or not. Okay, cool. It's deployed to Heroku. Now what we gonna do, we'll go to manage my app. And right now it's kind of um, like open API for everyone. So uh, we can just open our app and we'll have a Hasura platform already set up for us. So I recently also wrote a, a blog post on uh, like what is Hasura platform and what what are capabilities. So um, yeah, if you see, uh, if you just follow me on, Twi uh, on Twitter, you probably have seen this blog post. Um, just a second. Some reason I see in the network is a little bit laggy. Okay, so it took some time for some reason to load it. But yeah, uh, okay, let's see. Just a second. I'm just double checking that. My stream is fine. <clears throat> okay, cool. Yeah, it's fine. Um, yeah, so I will also be monitoring chat. So if you uh, see that it's lagging or something like that, just try this in chat. I hope hopefully it won't be the case but yeah Let, let's try so the, this is the the console so you, you've seen a couple of clicks i already have a sort of console so i have a bunch of things uh, here uh graphical if you're not familiar with the graphql or graphical in general again check my uh boot camp and um, i will explain everything there but uh, um, the idea is i can basically query my apis here and see the dogs and do a bunch of stuff. So right now I don't have anything because I haven't connected this to any data sources. Um, well, actually I did because when I deployed on, on Heroku, it automatically deployed, um, um, it's a different one, but um, it's it automatically deployed um, Postgres. So if we look at this here in the overview, I have Postgres already connected, so. Um, yeah, I have a bunch of config bars here. We have database URL. So everything like in, in terms of data sources is already connected. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is actually start creating things. So there is a, a data tab where I can um, start creating uh, my tables. So for now I want posts with ID, subject, timestamp, content, user ID. Uh, I don't know like why I have them twice, but yeah, who cares. Um, and uh, likes yeah okay uh, just a second I wonder if it's my computer that is uh, showing that twitch is slow or if it's the of the stream is actually slow so if you watching this and uh, this stream is a little bit lagging let me know. And just a second. Okay, it looks like. <coughs> it 
looks a bit weird in OBS, but uh, maybe I have too much process running. Just a second. I um, let's see. Okay, it looks like it's fine, I think. Um, I think I'm not sure. Okay, let's see. Okay, um, I think it became stable. So the pro uh, the problem was with the uh, with CPU usage, I guess. Okay, now it looks pretty much better. Okay, anyway, let let's get back to our things here. So we have post profile user comment. Let's start creating post. Basically, here from the from the, from the console. I can start creating tables, so let's call it posts, and let me just open my uh, uh, my sketch in a different. Ah, no, sorry, this is OBS. Too too many screens. Uh, okay, so uh, we'll have posts for our post. I want to have some kind of ID, and I actually can select here what IDs I, I want. So I want user ID and I have also a helper function here. So I want it to be generated randomly. And I want subject. My subject will be text, no default value, timestamp will be timestamp and I will use helper now uh, so upon creation of this post automatically there will be current timestamp of the post and now I'll have content with um, I think also text now I want user ID and it will be actually foreign key for a different table but so here it's not I'm not generating random UID I'm just um, uh, I will connect it to users table and um, then I will have likes my likes will be just integer I think I'm not sure if I should do it auto increment no I actually no, no, I don't need it because like the, this will change. Um, yeah, so this is my post table and my primary key will be ID. Let me double check with uh, my schema here that everything looks fine. I think it is. So our comments, so, so we can connect our comments by having like a comments uh, uh, IDs, uh, whatever, but we will have uh, comment here by the post ID and user ID stuff like that so um, yeah primary key let's just create that okay cool so we have this table with primary key with subject timestamp and everything and we we actually can modify things here we can add new columns we can edit subject um, and we can define that subject is not nullable right our ID, for example, is uh, well, we cannot change that, but it will definitely be unique. Our content, um, well, I don't want empty blog posts, so it's also nullable false. Uh, user ID likes uh, likes, I will set a default as zero, um, and yeah, that will be with likes. Um, so I have this table here. So the cool thing is what I can do now 
I have already query and mutation and subscription. I wrote no code for that, but I already have them and I actually have lots of them. So I can query my posts uh, and I, let's say I want ID. So I don't have any, right? So um, or I can use uh, post by ID. ID one, for example, it will fail because it's not UID. So um, I need to generate some kind of UID to be able to search that. But let's just add a little bit of data. Uh, so I will set this insert posts and my insert posts will have an object with array of post insert input so it will be object and it will get and this is automatically generated for you so it's it's really cool and it's really good for for us and for demo uh today late later on for uh for uh, the bootcamp um so um i want to return id and my objects will be um subject uh, first blog post and then um, timestamp I don't need I need content uh, hello there this will do and I will I actually want to execute this, but um, I won't do that because uh, uh, just, just a second, uh, somebody is uh, ringing on, on the doorbell. So, sorry, I will be right back in, in a second. Hey, I'm back. Sorry, uh, just had a doorbell. Um, yeah, so um, let's get back, back to our thing. So I have a mutation here, and uh, I want to insert post with the first blog post and hello there and whatever. So right now I want to run that, but let me just show you a really cool thing before that. So with uh, Hasura, I also get subscriptions. And um, let me just subscribe to data change in a different window. <coughs> and we will see how it's reflected automatically. So I will have posts with subject and content. And I don't have any posts and you see subscription is running. So right now, what I will try to do, no, actually, I will do it. I will run this mutation and it's st still not working because I don't have user ID. Um, so let's actually do a really hacky thing now, <laughs> just for the, the, the sake of example. So let's go to, because we haven't created user table and I just wanted to show you um, how we can create, uh, how we can run this mutation and I have sub subscription working. So let's modify our user ID for now and um, set it nullable as true. So now if we run this and we'll go here we have automatically subscription so, uh, working here. So it, it was like how much time it took, like a couple of minutes, right? 
So um, that's the cool thing regarding the console. It is perf uh, it perfectly works on uh, not only for our uh, example uh, for the bootcamp, but like in general for for anything. And actually, you can use these uh, remote schemas, well, which I will be talking actually this Thursday. Um, at the same time, at 11 a.m., there will be another uh, stream on Hasura um, um, account on, on uh, Twitch. I will be streaming more in-depth things about the, the overview and how you can merge uh, uh, Stitch schemas from your own GraphQL uh, server and stuff like that. Um, so, we have first blog post and it's, it's cool, but let's get things going and set relations or things and, and stuff so i need users let's get back to our data of course modify this back to um nullable it's false probably won't work yeah because we already have null values but let me just to just start adding tables so I need users, my user will have ID of uh, type UID, I will generate random UID and it's unique. Um, I will have first name, text, last name, uh, text, uh, profile ID. UID and uh, it will be a foreign key. This one is a primary key here. So I created this column. So now I can, for example, insert a new row. I will set Novik as a new user. Uh, yeah, I need also profile UID. Um, let's just set it as true for now. Let's go insert our row. Okay, I have UID. Now, if I take that, go to post just correct the heck that we did um, okay now we can modify user ID to be to always contain user ID and uh, we have already user we also need to add profile ID so I'm looking at this one my uh, sort of profile or it will have ID it will have your ID with uh, random um, I'll have avatar URL it will be text I will have bio also be uh, where was it? Uh, it also be text uh, and Twitter um, also will be text. So it can be nullable, bio can be nullable, avatar URL can be nullable, or nullable ID cannot. Uh, actually, yeah, ID obviously cannot be nullable. Um, so, what we will do now, we have our posts, uh, we have our profile, sorry, and we will create um, a new profile, we'll have uh, some URL, we'll have some bio, and we'll have... Uh, <clears throat> let me actually paste my own bio. Um, so 
so this is my bio and the URL. Um, I don't have next time. Um, okay, so this will be my profile. I have it here. Go to my posts um, and now I will start building the relations between uh, tables so I have user ID my user ID is actually a foreign key uh, key for uh, user ID column so this is and you see I have already here a suggestion to add the relationship so I can click on that and I will go to that tab but uh, Bear with me, I will do it in a bit. Uh, so here I will, um, everything's fine. Here with user, I need to modify this to be nullable false and to be a foreign key. I think it won't let me because it's null here. Uh, let me just copy it here. Uh, browse rows, edit, profile ID, save. Now if I go to user and I modify user, um, it can be nullable, first of all. Second, uh, it cannot be nullable. Uh, second, I will uh, have a reference table to user. Uh, uh, no, sorry, it's it's a user table, so it's profile ID. And again, I can add relationship here. So let's start adding relationship. <coughs> Actually, before adding relationships, let me show you something. So the cool th uh, thing about GraphQL is that you can, um, like in REST, you have um, endpoint for every re resource in GraphQL, you can kind of aggregate everything and just query or mutate data um, the, the same structure as you ask for, you will get back. So, we I would expect that if I query posts and I would want a user from my post, I will be able to get that, right? So, if you're familiar with GraphQL, that, that was the thing, uh, and then I would probably get uh, user um, like first name, last name, and stuff like that. But I cannot do that. I can um, get only post with user ID, and um, this is working. But that's not how I'm used to um, GraphQL. That's not how like the cool things about GraphQL. So the reason is uh, this is happening because we need to define relations between these. Uh, database uh, between the, these tables so not only in uh, as a foreign keys but we have a relationship tab, tab. Uh, so um, if we go here to relationship tab I uh, have a suggestion uh, suggested relationship it's either object or array relationships so if I add this it asks me how do I want it to be named uh, in um, let me just close slab because I don't know what what's happening today doorbells slack notifications uh, yeah uh, let me just close it maybe it's not closing uh, well uh, yeah, so um, this is the name how I will see it in when I will try to resolve it from query or from mutation um, or stuff like that. So I want it to be displayed as user. I will save it. Now it's created. <coughs> so um, if I go to user and go to relationship. I can have a suggested, uh, suggested object relationships for my profile ID to getting uh, to get like all uh, 
like to connect profile and uh, to user. So I will be able to, for example, query uh, something like this. If I will do posts, I want to. So now I can get user, and I can get. Let's say I want to get subject of the post. I can get content. I want to get user with first name, with last name, and I want to uh, get profile, but I can only get profile ID. So the the idea is the same. We just need. Um, was it let's do it here uh, so the thing is we need to go to our user relationship and add object relationships and it will call it profile so now additional thing we have suggested uh, suggested array, uh, array relationships and this is kind of um, um, it can be perceived as a little bit weird because uh, I expect that I go post user I will be able to get uh, like user for every post but um, typically if I want to get all posts of users I need to like uh, uh, go like for uh, for every post ID and user and stuff like that so uh, if I add uh, array relationships and call it posts Let's see what we'll be able to do. So let's start simple with having query with uh, posts and I will have user. My user will have last name, uh, first name, last name. It will have profile and my profile will have avatar URL. I also can get posts of this user and for every post so let's do it real I will get a user ID so if I run it everything works I get posts and I get user for every user I get posts so the cool thing is you might think about like if you've used GraphQL previously if you've written GraphQL <coughs> you can say okay this is like not optimized at all right so we, like you don't show you show me magic you don't know like how resolvers work under the hood and stuff like that so the cool thing is if i click this button basically the whole thing is just sql so there is no uh, there is no um, resolver here there is a generated sql that's running uh, the, uh, the whole GraphQL is compiled to generated SQL and we have like pretty optimized SQL here so you can you can actually check this later on or like query something analyze your query let your DBA uh, check um, if it's good or not and um, speaking of DBA if you want to optimize things you always can click SQL here and create views, create functions, and if you click on track this, you will even have them them here in the in the console. So we'll talk more about this on Thursday. Um, so right now, let's see what we can uh, what we want. Uh, what we're lacking here. We also need comments, right? So the other thing. Yeah, we have user profile post and we need comments. <coughs> Let's add comments table. And it will have ID with type view ID. We will have message type text will have timestamp with date and default value will be now uh, no, not date actually timestamp uh, we will have post ID it will be UID and uh, it's not nullable um, we will have user ID 
UID also not nullable, we will have parent comment ID and this one will be tricky one because it will kind of point to the same IDs here uh, and we'll have likes and our likes will be just an integer so my primary key is ID um, I create this column now what I want to do actually parent comment ID can be nullable because uh, parent comment uh, when it's nullable it's um, when it's not nullable meaning it's a reply for for a different comment so here you go parent comment ID uh, and uh, yeah um, so right now if I'll go to we, we have no relationship defined obviously because we need to set foreign key so our post ID is for uh, foreign key for post ID I can add relationships I call it posts get back my user ID is also foreign key for user table with uh, ID here and uh, suggested user I can just leave the names as, as they are uh, don't actually need to rename those uh, this is foreign key for comments uh, ID so color kind of reference itself uh, and it can be novel so suggested array and object relationships so um, we can have actually let's call it the same name as it's suggested and parent comment ID uh, no um, actually let's remove that name it a little bit differently comments ah okay yeah the name is fine it's comments by why it's double s it's me uh, comments by parent comment ID and here parents uh, comment by com Ah, yeah, I can create in the same. Uh, so this will be parent comment. Parent comment, and this one is comments by. Yeah. So if I go to post relationships, I have also suggested array relationships of uh, uh, comments. Now I go to profile. Um, I don't need an array here because for every profile there will be one user basically. Um, but here for I need all user comments. So right now if I go to graphical, I can get posts with user, first name, last name. I can get comments of this post. Um, and I can get a message. <coughs> <coughs> and I can get um, parent comment. Actually, I don't need current comment. I'm just a message. And if I run it, yeah, no, no comments here. So right now, if I will uh, look at uh, my queries and mutations and stuff like that, so I have a bunch of things. I have. Um, 
profile i have aggregations i have um yeah lots of stuff uh with mutation I have deletes i have inserts i have updates and uh, let's say uh, let's see if I can do something tricky so i want to insert posts with objects the objects will have subject second blog post and I will try to I'm not sure if I can let's see objects input no, I actually cannot insult nested things, but yeah, then that's probably fine. Um, yeah, okay, anyway, fa fail to insult uh, things, uh, nested things, but uh, yeah, we can insert user, insert profile, do them um, one by one, and uh, yeah. Uh, with updates I think we can actually update we can update user ID here with update ah no I actually can uh, insert okay I can uh, actually insert uh, things uh, nested uh, like I will insert post with objects. My objects is an array of. Why I'm doing this twice? Can you explain? Uh, okay, content. Now, uh, now I want to add user, and my user. Yeah. Uh, will have data and this data will have last name last name okay let's see returning ID user first name and last name so I'm trying to add several things here so what I can also do let's insert comments and comments will have data now all data will have message shell comment Let's return ID, subject, uh, content, user. <coughs> Let's also add profile. So I'm doing like several things in one mutation. So I add sub uh, post with subject content, user data. Uh, first, uh, also add user. I add new profile. I actually add um, insert all of the tables. Um, user ID violates um, comments data. Yeah, I cannot do that, I think, for the comments. Yeah, I cannot do this for the comments, because for the comments I need user ID and I create this already here inside. So, uh, but still, I mean, I inserted 
three um, like I insert it post with user with data with the uh, well subscription was not running it's a shame <laughs> um, but let's run let's just query things uh, posts um, subject content comments yeah my comments will have message my user will have uh, first name last name profile uh, avatar URL bio and uh, all user posts with subject and timestamp something like that uh, okay cool so I have all of these here and um, yeah I think we are done with uh, creating things for um, for our example for the for the for the bootcamp what I also want to do here I think this this amount of data will will do for now ah yeah so another thing that I want to do if we're already here in this uh, like talking about the console and the um, Asura console and stuff like that I see uh, here secure uh, your endpoint thing which is not um, not a good uh, like this is an open endpoint and I want it to, uh, to be secured and if I click on it I will get <coughs> this dog so we are using Heroku and uh, what I actually need I need this um, Asura GraphQL access key. So, what I will do, I will go here, I will go to my settings, I will add this key, and I will call it secret, uh, not a secret anymore. What I will do, I will reload my console. Stop my subscriptions here. Uh, yeah, because I'm trying to access. Uh, that's weird. Uh, let's change that to something different. Um, world let's try to open it now okay cool so dashes was a uh, problematic part so right now if I open it I will need to enter my access key to be able to access to this console, uh, access this console. So now, all is good. Uh, query this uh, endpoint. I will need to provide this uh, as a header, and uh, yeah, that's how uh, in a nutshell uh, it will work. Um, yeah uh cool that's um yeah that's it for today's stream so it will be more uh, it was more kind of unplanned unplanned stream um every monday stream will be just like a generic one i will just pick a topic we'll talk about uh, it a little bit on uh, thursday it will be more in depth of going through the um, asura console and um, stuff like that uh, 
so yeah, uh, thanks for watching. And um, in actually, uh, I think less than five hours, there will be a um, reasonable boot uh, reasonable, reasonable GraphQL bootcamp. By the way, if you're interested in reasonable bootcamp, ID 